Hey guys, it's Caleb. I'm going to go over Coliseum of Trials 4-star and 5-star matches. So we're going to start at the very beginning, 4-1, and go on from there. 4-1 is uh, three things that you got to look at. Team ability L or lower. Uh, you can only use shoots and passes as the active skills. And you have to use those active skills ten times or more um, before you kill the goalkeeper for you to be able to win. So I pretty much just grab a long passer if you have an Asclod friend. Um, or if you have a couple long passers like Barrister, Leah, so on and so forth, great. Make sure you can get it up to the front. Um, you don't really need anybody in the uh, midline, um, but you can do that if you need additional players for up to L ability. You can do another two forward passers in there, you know, really whatever you want. Um, I am actually going to switch out because I got Jiho in the meantime. Um, you don't need her, but w once again, depending on if you need the attack power, then great. If you need the penetration... You also don't want to overkill, so you got to be careful that you don't have, you know, too much team ability and you got to remove the players. But that's pretty much the formation that I use. Make sure you have enough reflex in the back line to be able to face tank against um, the opponents Ernesto and Rene, because they can stack that reflex after Ernesto does a couple moves. Um, so you just got to be careful with that. And then beyond that, it's just getting to your back line and using a whole bunch of actives. Active pass, forward pass up to the midline. Do the long passes from the back line up to the front. Use the front passes active to your striker. And if you have a utility striker, then um, I pretty much think that that's the best because then you can use their actives multiple times um, if you need to. So I don't want to kill the solution right away, especially since he doesn't have enough spirit to use his active block. So we're just going to active from Baltheon to Scylla, and then Scylla active... And I'm just going to do a normal shot because I'm pretty sure my, uh, yeah, my active would have killed. So I'm just going to cycle around. i got to wait uh, eight minutes for their actives back again, but I can long pass again. Um, back up. I'm just going to normal shoot with Baltheon. That's fine. All right, so his active is done. Now it's just using the uh, active, uh, wow, got all the counterattacks. The uh, long passes and forward passes from the back line um, up to the front. So once again, your midline does not matter at all. Um, you don't even need anybody there, but if you want the additional damage and you have stuff like Kirel, Yeon, you know, buffs for your chains for whoever your striker is, you know, if you can't do that much damage, then those are all great options. So I'm going to shoot just so that way that Lucian can get a little bit more hit points. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally kill him for another shot from my Ravian if I forget, uh, you know, or something like that. So always good to build in some buffers just in case. All right, so I can still use Sammy, my Ascalod, and then my friend's Ascalod's going to have her active. All right, so and then front line's good, so I can long pass back up to the front and be fine. So Ernesto's reflex up 1785. Rene is up over 1800. So once again, just be aware of that. Make sure uh, you've either got some good uh, reflex totems or have some reflex stones on your goalkeeper if you're going to face tank and 
do that against their front line. All right, so I'm at seven. All right, so now the Lucian's up past 175. So depending on what you've built for the front line, um, I probably won't be able to crit him, so I should be fine with doing a long pass up from Ascalon and shooting just with Ravian, but you got to be careful. Just make sure you're aware of that. Because you don't want to kill him when you've got uh, one or two actives left. So, like, he's up to 190 now. Yeah, I should be fine. Yeah, at least 36 seconds. I'm just going to normal shoot. Yeah, not worth it. All right, so last two actives should be my long pass from uh, my Ascalot up to Ravian, and that should be the game. So yeah, the main thing with that is if you do not have that powerful of a striker, you need to make sure you build a whole lot of crit rate on that because once that Silk uses her active, that Lucian is up at, a, what was that, 190% crit resist. So that is 4-1. All right, so now we're going to do 4-2. Uh, this one is somewhat similar. Same thing, you're restricted on how high your team ability can be. So triple S is the highest you can be or lower. And then you can only use shoots and passes as the actives, and you have to use those actives nine times or more before you win. So, same thing. I usually grab a long pass or friend. Askeladd's usually the best. And then, once again, depending on your TA, I like a uh, inline passer up front with your really good striker. I don't put anybody in the midline. And then um, just a whole bunch of passers. So, I use a uh, Metatron. Once again, you don't need to if you have another passer. Great. But you do got to watch this reflex because they will be able to counterattack you. So I've got Metatron in as a reflex buff for her totem. And same thing with Lin Mei. Um, and then Glade is an awesome passer as well because she's a GK. So yeah, that's pretty much my formation for 4-2. So similar to 4-1, in my opinion, midline doesn't matter. And I'm just going to do a whole bunch of active passes in the back line to get it up front, and then once I get up to nine, that'll be it. So this Lucas base reflex right now is 1651. Once that Milky Way does a couple of actives, or sorry, passes, passes actions, whenever that is, then that'll build up pretty quickly. Milky Way is 13.20, now she's up to 14.02, Luca's up to All right, so pass around, use the actives. So I'm also burning my opponent's um, action bar in the midline because they have Freya and Black Ivy that are both hit point um, healers. Um, 
Fuck here's about is the action bar recovery, but you know, doesn't really matter too much on that one. So I still have quite a bit of reflex, like I'm counterattacking that, so we'll go ahead and do this. I will uh, kill this Robin on an active active, so I'm just gonna active to this bench warmer to pass. That way I can at least use an active ability. Alright, so I'm up to five. I have four more. So three of them are going to be um, Ascalad, Tabaltheon, Tishar. So I just need to use one more, either Glade. Lin May will be the next one at three minutes. So I'll probably be using hers in uh, three minutes' time, and then just wait for one more Ascalad, and they'll be ready. Alright, Lin Mei is up, so I will use her active. Now, my opponent does have three full action bars, so they will be able to heal. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to... Uh, should be fine, midline, and then run into Jury and Valkbeth. So you don't want, really want to be aware of this if you have already shot on Robin and, and got him down quite a bit, and you're now preparing for your final shot to where, uh, you know, you don't think you'll be able to one-hit KO him um, from his total hit points for where he's at now. But I know that I can, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so one more minute on my friend's Ascalade. And then should be good. All right, everybody's actives are up. So, just got to get it to Ascalon, and then I'll be good. So there's number seven, up to Baltheon. Then you just auto from here. Baltheon will be eight, and then Char's active will be nine. So, just make sure you have all the actives available, and then you'll be good to go. He's got pretty much no crit resist, so... You should be good if you can build up enough. Uh, I didn't even look at his decreased damage stat, but it's not too bad. So there you go. That is 4-2. All right, time for 4-3. Just like 4-1 and 4-2, it is similar in that it limits you and caps you on your team ability. So it has to be SS or lower. You can only use shoots and passes for your active abilities, and you have to use those active abilities nine times or more before you can win. Um, for friends, I just grab, you know, forward passers. Um, Ascalot is awesome if you have an Ascalot friend um, to be able to pass up to your forward passer, or, you know, inline front passer, and then your striker. So that's pretty much it. Um, also got to watch the back line. Just be aware of the reflex of this uh, Narazel. So if you have a Thunder Goalkeeper or something, um, my Sammy has a thousand watchers on her, so that just helps. And then I've got an Ardor Goalkeeper to... Increase my uh, reflex against uh, whirlwind defenders who are going to try to steal. So, yeah, just be aware of that. Watch stones and stuff that you have. and Make sure you don't get counterattacked if you're going to face tank a couple of those uh, defender shots. So just like 4-1 and 4-2, I don't really care about the midline. Fine with having everything be in the back line and then use my actives back here. And then forward pass up to the front for that last one. So Nerozel is 1760 reflex. You know, even though I'm 1338, I still have the attribute advantage, so that other 10% isn't shown, but just be aware of that. 
So just use actives as they come up. I like to forward pass up to the left side, so that way I do not give uh, their Princess Marin an opportunity to use an action and um, get buffs for the entire team for 45 minutes. So just be aware of that as well. So I'm going to normal pass just so that way I can use the Kane's active to then go back to the Sammy and use another active. Once again, just trying to get up to six as fast as I can, and then I will be doing my last three for my combo for Ascalot, Tabathion, Tishar. All right, so I'm actually going to just do this to speed things up. I could wait for the couple more Sammies and the Akane again, but I'm just going to go Baltheon active to this bench warmer. And then, yeah, eight more minutes, and then I'll be good. All right, so there's six. So now I'm just waiting another six minutes until Ascalon and Baltheon get their actives back. So four minutes now. So I'll just be passing around until they are ready. All right, so everybody's up. All I need to do is get it back to Ascalon, do my passes, and I'll be good. So also be aware of this Eerie's crit resist. I believe it's 160 with their active. So, yep, 160. So just make sure they're You've got enough uh, penetration to eat through that and, you know, at least 260 if you want that 100% chance of being able to uh, crit on that Eerie. All right, 4-4 four, four is the next one. So same thing, team ability S or lower. Only use shoots and passes as you're active, and then you have to use those eight times or more. Uh, so on this one, I just use a bench warmer, but once again, if you have a friend that has a long passer or something like that you can do, then awesome. Um, there's a key here, so I've got a Serestia that I use just to eat away um, at that active, so I don't have to worry about it, and then just, you know, pass, 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 and then forward pass up to the front, long pass from Ascalot, and then you're good. So if your team ability is, you know, once again, it can only be S or lower, so depending on who you have, you may be able to grab another forward long passer or inline passer that you can use up. If not, then, you know, you can uh, only use what you need to use. So, just like all the other ones, I don't care about the midline. Um, I sacrificed my inline passer up front as well, just to get a pass from Ascalon to Shar and instantly win that way. So, if the uh, key doesn't have an active block. So you can just play around it. Use an active... Actually, let me double check. So I don't really want the Choi to get it to the give that buff, so I'm going to give it back 
over to uh, the right side and let uh, Iggy steal it again. Or Hercules, either one. All right, so I don't want to do it to Char because she'll just kill Key on this one. So we'll do it to the bench warmer and shoot with the bench warmer. <laughs> So once again, just be aware of Reflex. Uh, this sky is pretty high. Veronica's okay, but, you know, not as bad as the sky. All right, two more minutes, 36 seconds on Lin May. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and burn uh, keys active. Probably could have used Char's active, but once again, I don't want to cut it too close. So I just need to use uh, Lin May's active one more time, and then it'll be Ascalad Char for the win. Make sure actives are up to where you don't forward or long pass up to uh, a striker that doesn't have an active available. But should be good. All right, 
so that's 4-4. Four, four. All right, on to 4-5. So same thing, team ability triple A or lower. You can only use shoots and passes for your active abilities, and you have to use those active abilities eight times or more before you win. Um, I like to use a Milky Way friend for this one because i got to stack up quite a bit of reflex to get through that Shura. Um, also helps to have, um, if you have a high enough reflex line, if not, make sure one of them has a thousand watchers. Um, I have a cane that has my EBM, and then my Ravian is, uh, you can put double reflex on it, but I'm fine with one. Fontis tissue sample for that counterattack resistance. And uh, yeah, pretty much it from there. So just passes around. I active passed from a cane or uh, was all over to Ravian if I need to penetrate, but pretty much it's her just penetrating up the left side and then using her active ability to shoot and then you do that, you know, seven, eight times, and you're good. So this sure is right around 1800 reflex, so you gotta make sure you're somewhat close to that so you don't get counterattacked up the wazoo. So my Raven's only 1600 right now, but uh, after the Milky Way gets a couple stacks, I will be good. Alright, so we'll have to suicide a couple times to uh, get past this wonderful Vermilion Bird, which I'll be losing my stacks from uh, Milky Way, but after I'm done, I will be good. All right, so if you are going to steal from that Vitos and penetrate to the midline, make sure you're aware of the opponent's shoe <laughs> because you do not want the shoe getting the ball. Otherwise, he's going to heal the entire team and uh, extend the amount of time that it's going to take to get those eight actives and kill Zabroy.
All right, so the other thing you got to make sure is that you can do enough damage to actually uh, whittle this Super down. So he's at 37.72 right now. And he's down to 34. So that's only 300 damage that I'm taking off him. So you got to be, and I'm going to get a couple more stacks, but still, you got to make sure that you have enough damage from your striker to be able to do that. Or you're going to have a couple more shots to get rid of that Kiki, and then you'll have to time a 1v1 shot uh, with him on that. All right, so he's at 35, basically. Dropping down to 24. So I must not have crit on that last one. I wasn't even paying attention. Alright, so Zeroy's at 24, basically 25. Down to 15, so now I'm doing 1,000. So it should be two more shots and then I'll be good. And I've got, you know, 11 minutes to do it in, so plenty of time. Make sure I do not let that shoe touch it. All right, so I'll hit my eight of eight actives on this one, but I don't have enough damage to uh, kill that Zebroi, so should be one more shot. So I think the hardest thing about this floor is actually completing it within the 45 minutes for my setup. There are better ones out there, and once again, if you use an opponent's or a friend Vanchi, that's probably a bit better than my Ravian. But cycle around, get to that side, pen through there. So there we go. Had to bring it down to the wire, 44-48. <laughs> so there you go, that is 4-5. All right, so now we're on to 4-6. This one does not have the um, cap for team ability, so it's great to be able to go back to your stat boosting managers and uh, full teams. You need at least four defender rolls. Um, you cannot use active shoot. 
and then you can't use actives more than three times. So same thing, I like using a friend, um, Askeladd, to be able to long pass up to the end. Um, my four defenders, I've got uh, Jiho, but once again, I can't remember who I used before I got Jiho. Asline is amazing on this. Um, and then uh, Death Queen I use for her ace to help me be able to crit um, with Char. But there's three defenders right there, and then I use a Metatron. So there's my four defenders. Um, then pretty much long passers up to Char. And then I've got uh, a Penetrator. So any good Penetrator that you have that you can put on the left side to penetrate through um, here. Then yeah, there you go. And then uh, active pass, active shot to finish it. So pretty much the three are going to be Askeladd to Balth to Char. Um, and then, yeah, Char, I re-rolled. Sorry, I haven't done stones on anything, but that's my Char. With Char to Bulmong, Baltheon, Silent Cold, Double Red Pass, Celis EBM. Um, you know, those guys don't really matter. I do have a Wise Men's Trail on Jiho just to help um, Char crit. Call my Sickle on Hildegard, Pray Sentence on my Askeladd. And then Lucian's uh, Protection of Mother Earth. Double uh, decreased incoming damage. Ardor, um, decreased damage as well. So, yeah, pretty standard on all that stuff. Metatron, I run Battalion. Sometimes I'll put Thousand Watches on her if I need it. But that is the formation. So with this one, it got updated. Um, it didn't used to be, you can't use actives more than three times, but I like it this way because now there's no time limit or, you know, win after X amount or whatever that is that are annoying on the later ones. So you just have to build up enough spirit, and that's the hard part with this Bora that she keeps removing it from you. So you really need to be able to face tank into this um, Elaine or time it right to where you can uh, pass and have a player outrun. So... So has got 1,600. My Hildegard is at 15, so I should be fine for this one. And now I can attack. All right, so now I'm good. Now I can pass a bit. Build that up. All right, so I've got plenty of spirit now. So now I'm just waiting. And then I'll do Wombo Combo. So there we go. If I didn't, uh, if you weren't, if don't have enough to be able to kill that Angela on the first one, then you can just once again ask a lot right back to Char. Um, that'll be the third active ability, and then you're good from there. So that is four six. All right, four seven. So this one is for striker role players. Still can't use the active shoot, and then can't use your active skill anything more than two times. So, same thing. It's nice to have a friend Askeladd for this one, unless you have your own. And then, yeah, I put him on the far left. Um, I've got a Duke as my penetrator up on the right side, but any attacker that you have that can push into that uh, Milky Way and tank from the Uriel and Baltheon will be good. But basically, I'm just going to do Askeladd to Baltheon, active, active, and then Baltheon to my Shanti, and then Shanti normal shoot. So... I've got three strikers in the mid, and then Shanti, and then once again, Totem, inline passer, um, Shanti, Shard of Bulmung, you know, receiving pass effect, double crit damage for those stones. Um, same thing, EBM on Celis, Silent Cold on Baltheon, and then um, Reflex buffs. Um, usually, I'll put a Thousand Watcher on Mirren, so just to get that extra. So, Thousand Watcher Mirren, um, typically EBM Lin May, but I've got... Uh, which we call Eye of the Storm on her right now. And then uh, Duke is just self-stones, just attack. I don't even have anything on him. We'll stick this Shard of Bulmung on him. And then uh, Friend Askeladd with a Praise Sentence. So that is it.
So the nice thing with this one is the enemy goalkeeper does not have an active block, so you don't have to worry about gauging enemy spirits and making sure that they you know, don't have enough to use an active block. You can just let it go. Uh, yeah, I've got enough. Okay, so... Haskellot up to Baltheon. Baltheon active to Shanti, and Shanti normal shot. So there's my two actives. So there we go. That was 4-7. <laughs> All right, now on to 4-8. So this has four attacker role players needed, still can't use active shoots, and then active skills no more than twice. So typically friend Ascalon is what I'd use, but I've used them all up, so I just put mine in there just to be able to uh, speed through this. This does have a Kieran Striker, so you got to watch, make sure you have enough reflex in the back line. So things like Lin Mei, Princess Marin, Milky Way, um, those would be good buffs to have um, for that. And then basically just my four attackers in the midline, and then same thing. Um, Shar, Baltheon, Celis front. So I definitely have to watch Reflex. This Luke is at 1,900. Haru's at 1,700 right now. But then he gains stuff when he does his active. So be careful with that. So 2,000 Reflex. I'm only at 1,700. So definitely a chance to be counterattacked. Yeah, there we go. There's one. So, you know, if you want to decrease that, just have stuff like, uh, you know, Princess Marin, or make sure you have somebody that can run a thousand watchers in the line, because that'll help. But I've got enough for Shu. I'm going to just normal pass to him, and um, make sure you don't use his active. All right, so I built up enough spirit. I'm fine with that. Alright, so Ascalot up to Baltheon, Baltheon active to Shar, and Shar one hit KO. Bada bing, bada boom. 4 8 done. And time for 4-9 now. So 4-9 is 4 leaders. Same thing, can't use the active shoot, but now you can only use your active no more than once. So pretty much just a long pass up to your striker. So, or you can pen through. So I'll I'll show you my formation, but uh, you can do whichever one you want. So you can use a friend, ask a lot, or use your own. Um, there are strikers in the middle, so I have a Serestia. You know, you don't need that, but you know, she's just nice to have. Uh, Lin Mei is just amazing in all PvE, so I'd highly recommend getting that. Um, and then my leaders are in the midline. Um, and then I've got an Ascalot as well, so, you know, but I'll pen through with Shu, you know, use my Ascalot, or just pen all the way up, and Baltheon will be my one active to Shanti. So the other thing that I like about Princess Marin and Jacob is that they've got the uh, global buffs when they make an action. 
So depending on how weak or strong your striker is, you can stack their abilities three times before advancing to the front to then make your shot. And there's no limit. I mean, you can have multiple shots. You just can only use one active. So I would recommend that be an active pass to your striker. So I'll go ahead and build up a couple stacks. Just to show that it doesn't matter if their Latios keeps getting the ball and healing. Um, the easiest way is one hit KO on this and that's building up as many uh, stacks from Princess Marin and Jacob as you can. So yeah, Ceresti is not needed in here because you've got a healing Latios, so Ceresti is not going to do anything for you. Alright, so right now I've got one stack from Princess Marin and one stack from Jacob. So we're just going to pass around again. Get a second stack from Princess Marin. And obviously you need to make sure that their uh, proper skill points are active. <laughs> Otherwise that won't mean anything. All right, there's a second one from Jacob. Should be the third one from Princess Marin. Let's check Jacob. Oh, no, I'm still one, but did he die once? I need to check Lucian. Yeah, so I've got uh, all three stacks from Princess Marin, and I can do one more um, from Jacob. Alright, so one active. It's going to be my active pass from Baltheon to Shanti. Can't use shoot. Can only use one anyway. So there we go, 8,500. So depending on your striker and who you have, um, definitely get as many stacks on that as you can. And then even in the front line, um, you may want to forfeit a Baltheon and do another uh, defense debuff like a Hammeress or um, Veronica or Celis, I mean, yeah, Celis is a great one too. Celis is my favorite, especially if you 7 star him and then we roll for EBM. But uh, you could use your one active as a friend Askeladd in the back or mid to just pass to your striker right away. And after you've built up a couple stacks and, you know, done all that stuff. So that is 4 9. Alrighty, 4 10. So 4 10 is another one you need for assist role players. Still can't use the active shoot, and you can use active skills no more than once. So it's pretty much just going to be my active pass to my striker. Um, so it really doesn't matter who my friend is on this one. Um, it is a Ronald who has an active block, so I like having a Valkyrie in there that I'll, you know, pass to and penetrate up or, you know, try to look at uh, what you call it, controlling action bar. So a friend Serestia actually wouldn't be too bad. I forgot about that one. So... If you've got a clubmate who has a Serestia or a friend, then great. Put her in front of the uh, Lucid. And then put up that side. Active pass, active shoot. Bada bing, bada boom.
So pen through the right side. Uh, going through this uh, Mariel is the easiest. Once again, not using any of my actives until I get up to the front. And then just playing around Spirit, making sure I don't go up there with more than a bar for that uh, Ronald to use his active block. Alright, so Lucid, using her active, now takes the opponent way below that bar, so I should be good now if I can penetrate forward and get to the front. So that is 410.